welcome to Informatica University Success Academy. Informatica Master Data Management External Matching. In this video, we will take a look at the external matching, the external match components, and a small demonstration towards the end. External match is used to test the matching rules or to match the data within the hub with data that's not in the hub yet or maybe for some special use case that does not require data to be within the MDM hub. The components that are involved here is one the base object, two the underscore EMI table and the third one is the underscore EMO table. The base object has the data that needs to be matched. The underscore EMI table needs to provide the external data that needs to match with the base object. And the EMI table has three columns to start with that make up a composite key. File underscore name, source underscore name, and source underscore key. The results of the external match are populated in the underscore EMO table. And the consolidation indicator within the base object will remain at an unchanged 4 before and after the external match. Let's take a look at the demo. This is my MDM hub. I have already configured the C underscore customer base object. I've got four columns in it. The first name, middle name, last name and an identifier. I also have the landing and the staging tables with me and I've created the mapping between the landing and the staging table. Let's take a look at the source data. I have three records, the John Smith, Ray Robinson and Joe Lewis. So we will try and match the John Smith's record externally. So let's run the stage job, which should give us three records from the landing table into the staging table. And once the staging job is complete, we can now run the load job, which should give us three records in the base object. Let's do a refresh status here and we should end up with three records in the base object. So now that the load job is complete, let's take a look at the EMI table and the EMO table. The EMI or the external match input should now only have the three default columns, uh, the source key, source name, and the source file. So let's now configure the match and merge setup to keep things simple we'll go with the exact match strategy and let's add a match column and we will add a match column based on the first name and we'll type in the first name as the field name here Then we will configure the match rule set. So let's enter the name of a rule set and we will create a match rule within the rule set based on the first name exact column. So now that the match strategy is in place, we can take a look at the external match input table to see if something has changed. So the first name column that we've added as a match column in here should now be part of the external match input table as well. And it appears here. So now that the configuration is in place, we need to go ahead and add data to the external match input table. So here is the base object. This is the record that we will try and match with. This is the value. The John Smith's value is, we, is what we will try and match externally. And to do that, we will need to add the external match input values here in the EMI table. And the source key and the source name and the file name. We could add something unique, something that is unique here. I'm choosing John as the source name. You could use something else. 
But the first name is where the value comes up. This value here will now be matched against with what we have in the base object. So now that the value is in place, we could save the EMI table. So now the EMI table has values in it. The EMO table is empty. It will have results once we run the external match. The MTCH is also empty. So, switch back to the MDM hub and let's run the external match job. And we should end up with just one match. So let's do a refresh status here. And we should have one match as expected. So let's take a look at the underscore EMO table to see if the result is there in the EMO table. and. Let's do a refresh in the EMO table here. And as expected, this is the match. So this concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.